Good morning. I'm also uh, delighted to be here, and I'm speaking on behalf of the American College of Physicians, which is the national organization for internal medicine and internal medicine subspecialists. Uh, we have 141,000 physicians and, and medical students, and this is an area of great, great importance to us. Just want to give a little bit of a personal perspective uh, first. I'm actually a pulmonary and critical care physician, so in the ICU, this is something that um, I've dealt with over, over many years. I'm also a medical educator, and one of the things that strikes me, and I'll, I'll actually agree with Dr. Gawande and uh, disagree a little bit with Senator Collins, um, that the amount that this is covered in medical school and, and training, I, I would say, is probably close to zero. Uh, not, not one day. And it's actually interesting, apart from what Dr. Wadir deals with at the beginning of life, there is absolutely no condition that everyone in this room, everyone in the United States, everyone in the world will have other than death. And uh, the amount that we spend on training physicians about this uh, actually is inversely proportional to the magnitude of the problem. So how, how do we get from point A to point B? And as a physician organization, how, how do we address this deficit, I think, in the training and the practice of, of physicians? And there are a few things that we've been doing. Um, just like the AMA, we have uh, a highly publicized ethics manual, uh, now in its sixth edition. And the whole issue of the physician's professional responsibility in terms of addressing end-of-life issues is a very prominent uh, component of this. And um, we also find right now that if we look at the priorities of ACP, um, they are very much linked with the kinds of things that, that we are talking about. And there are two initiatives that I'll mention that are closely linked. One is we have a high-value care initiative <laughs> where we've been trying to um, reduce overuse and misuse of care, but also to improve the use of things that add value to care and decrease both harms and, and costs. And as part of this, we have felt that the import, there, there is a tremendous importance to address end-of-life care, that physicians need to address it. It is particularly high-value care. The second initiative that we have uh, is, is something that we set up a couple of years ago, which is called the Center for Patient Partnership in Healthcare. And we feel very strongly that healthcare needs to be a partnership between clinicians and, and patients. We've been working very closely with a number of uh, highly respected patient organizations based in Washington to figure out how physicians can deliver uh, better, better patient-centered uh, patient care. We also are very much interested in the area of reducing emergency room uh, visits that are unnecessary and reducing uh, hospitalizations that are unnecessary. So what have we been doing uh, in this area? In addition to the policies that I mentioned, um, we are developing educational materials and resources uh, for physicians. Uh, we recently published an article uh, in 2010 that came from our High Value Care Task Force that was focused on how physicians can and should be addressing communication about end-of-life issues uh, with their patients. This is also something we focus on a lot in our educational materials and resources that we develop at meetings uh, and, and et cetera. Um, in addition, we are developing resources for physicians about how to, um, to talk uh, with patients uh, about end-of-life care that are in enduring materials that they can actually use and also resources that they can give to patients. Uh, we have a number of brochures that we have uh, developed uh, that are called PEACE brochures capital P-E-A-C-E, -E. and it's an acronym for Patient Education and Caring at the End of Life. Uh, and these are important uh, resources that, that physicians can use. Um, so overall, I would say that we are particularly involved in the development of policies for physicians and educational resources. Thank you. Great.